नमस्ते डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द वीडियो ऑफ सोमनाथ टेंपल दैट इज माय सेवेंथ वीडियो द सोमनाथ टेंपल आल्सो नोन एज द देव पाटन located in Verawal in Saurashtra on the western coast of Gujarat India is believed to be the first among the 12 jyotirlinga shrines of Shiva it is a very very sacred pilgrimage place for hindus and it is a tourist attraction it was destroyed 17 times and reconstructed after every destruction so the present temple is reconstructed on the pattern of chalukya style of hindu temple architecture and it was completed in may 1951 and on the efforts were put by first deputy prime minister of india mr vallabhai patel and it was inaugurated by first president of india dr rajender prasad and now the present chairman of the somnath mandir trust is our prime minister narendra modi the <clears throat> temple is considered very sacred due to the connection with lord shiva it is a shrine of lord shiva that is shrine eternal as was declared by k m munshi by this title and now this is the according to tradition the shivlinga in somnath is one of the 12 jyotir linga in india where shiva is believed to have appeared as a fiery column of light the jyotir linga is taken as the supreme undivided reality out of which shiva partly appeared this is the first jyotir linga the primary image is a lingam representing the beginningless and endless stambha pillar symbolizing the infinite nature of shiva there are other jyotir lingas at mallika arjuna at sri shalam in andhra mahakaleshwar at ujjain in madhya pradesh omkareshwar in madhya pradesh kedarnath in uttarakhand bhima shankar at pune maharashtra vishwanath at varanasi in uh, uttar pradesh trembakeshwar at nashik in maharashtra vaidyanath temple in devdhar district of jharkhand on the nagnath at on the in hingoli district in maharashtra ramanath swami temple at rameswaram in tamil nadu and grineswar at elora near aurangabad in maharashtra so the the site of somnath has been a pilgrimage site from ancient times on account of being a triveni sangam the confluence of three rivers kapila hiran and mythical saraswati soma the moon god is believed to have lost his luster due to a curse and he bathed in the saraswati river at this site to regain it the result is the waxing and waning of the moon 
no doubt an allusion to the waxing and waning of the tides at this seashore location. The name of the town Prabhas meaning luster as well as the alternative names Someswar and Somnath, the lord of the moon or the moon god arise from this tradition. According to popular tradition documented by J. Gordon Melton, the first Shiva temple at Somnath is believed to have been built at some unknown time in the past. The second temple is said to have been built at the same site by the Yadava kings of Vallaghi around 649 CE, that is 725 CE. al Junaid, the Arab governor of Sindh, is said to have destroyed the second temple as part of his invasion of Gujarat and Rajasthan. The Gurjara Pratihara king Nagbhata too is said to have constructed the third temple at 815 CE, a large structure of red, red, red stone. However, there is no historical record of an attack on Somnath by al Junaid. Nag Bhattatu is known to have visited Tirthas in Saurashtra, including Someswara, the Lord of Moon, which may or may not be a reference to Shiva temple because the Town itself was known by that name. The Chalukya Solanki king Mul Raja possibly built the first temple at the site sometime before 1997 CE, even though some historians believe that the that he may have renovated a small or smaller earlier temple. In 1024, during the reign of Bhima I, the prominent Turkic Muslim ruler Mahmud of Ghazni raided Gujarat, plundering the Somna temple and breaking its Jyoti Langa. He took away a booty of 20 million dinars. Historians expect the damage to the temple by Mahmud to have been minimal because there are records of pilgrimages to the temple in 1038, which makes no Proclamation of the Gates incident during the British period. In 1842, Edward Law, first Earl of Ellenborough, issued his Proclamation of the Gates in which he ordered the British Army in Afghanistan to uh, return via Ghazni and bring back to India the sandalwood gates from the tomb of Mahmud of Ghazni in Ghazni. Afghanistan. These were believed to have been taken by Mahmud from Somnath. Under Alan Borough's instruction, General William Knott removed the gates in September 1842. A whole spy regiment, the 16th Jatri Light Infantry, was detailed to carry the gates back to India. In Triumph, however, on arrival, they were found not to be of Gujarati or Indian design and not of Sandalwood, but of Devdar wood, native to Ghazni and therefore not authentic to Somnath. They were placed in the arsenal store room of the Agra fort, where they still lie to the present day. There was a debate in the House of Commons in London in 1843 on the question of the gates of the temple and Alan Borough's role in the affair. After much crossfire between the British government and the opposition, all of facts were we know them were laid out. Reconstruction during 1950-1951 Before independence, Verawal was part of Jonagad state whose ruler had accepted to Pakistan in 1947. After India refused to accept his decision, the state was made a part of India and Deputy Prime Minister Patil came to Janagar on 12 November 1947 to direct the stabilization of the state by the Indian Army and at the same time ordered the reconstruction of the Somnath Temple. When Patel, K. M. Munshi and other leaders of the Congress went to Mahatma Gandhi with their proposal to reconstruct the Somna Temple, Gandhi blessed the move but suggested that the funds for the construction should be collected from the public and the temple should not be funded by the state. He expressed that he was proud to associate himself to the 
project of renovation of the temple. However, soon both Gandhi and Sardar Patel died and the task of reconstruction of the temple continued under Munshi, who was the Minister for Food and Civil Supplies, Government of India, headed by Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. The ruins were pulled down in October 1950 and the mosque present at the site was shifted few kilometers away by using construction vehicles. In May 1951, Rajendra Prasad, the first President of the Republic of India, invited by K.M. Munshi, performed the installation ceremony for the temple. The President said in his address, it is my view that the Reconstruction of the Somna Temple will be complete on the day when not only a magnificent edifice will arise on his foundation, but this foundation, but the mention of India's prosperity will be really that prosperity of which the ancient temple of Somnath was a symbol. He added the Somnath temple signifies that the power of reconstruction is always greater than the power of destruction. So the architecture of the present temple is that of the Chalukya style. So this is all about Somnath temple. So thank you my dear friend for watching this significant video. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you lot. Namaste my dear friends. Now.